What a surprise! <laughs> My darling husband, uh, the king. I am so happy that today is your birthday. Oh. I wish you all the good things in life. Long life and prosperity and good health. I would always be your queen because you are my king. Oh. <laughs> Happy you. birthday once again, my darling husband. Thank you, my queen. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Happy birthday, Father. Father, we cherish you a lot. Oh. Yes. Thank you for always supporting and encouraging me in everything that I do. Father, I am proud of you and all your achievements. Oh. <laughs> you are the kind of father that every child would wish for. Father, may God continue to bless you for us. Amen. <laughs> Happy birthday once again, okay. Daddy. Thank you, thank you, my beautiful princess. Thank you. Uh, this is a big surprise. <laughs> You're all so sweet. <laughs> Let's ah. play it again. husband alive. Thank you, my queen. Loving you is easy. <laughs> you have taught me what it means to have a perfect home. You are the best. Thank you. You are the most understanding husband. <laughs> you are the most loving husband I have ever seen on earth. Oh, thank you, my queen. <laughs> Happy birthday to you once again. Thank you, my queen. Thank you. Happy birthday to you! It went jump Even that to give him a queen and well, eh? Hold on, I got to not receive it. Hold on, I got to go to God that you. Hold on, I see the Monday to go. Thank you for the love you have all shown to me. Um, uh, they were in the room. <laughs> and here you are. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you for the surprise. <laughs>
My king, through the good and bad times, you continue to be by my side. I couldn't have asked for a better husband. I never imagined I would have such a perfect man standing before me as my husband, supporting me with my silly ways of life. I enjoy every moment we share together. And I will love you till eternity. Happy birthday, my king. I wish you many more glorious years ahead. Thank you, my lovely queen. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Father, words alone cannot express how grateful I am to have you as my father. To me, you are the best father in the whole wide world. I wish you long life in good health and prosperity. Amen. Happy birthday, Father. Thank you, my princess. I am so grateful to be loved by you all. Thank you. Thank you for this surprise. <laughs> Thank you, my king.
<laughs> Daddy, why are you coughing like this now? Do, do you need water? What? What did you need? <sighs> My brother, the king, poisoned me. What? Hey, <sighs> he took away the throne from me. He has succeeded. <sighs> Daddy, why would you say a thing like this? Why would your own brother poison you? He is afraid that I might. <coughs> <coughs> sorry, sorry. He is afraid that I might take back what rightly belongs to me. My child, make sure you don't spare him. Make sure he pays dearly for this. Take this, my phone, and watch the video I made. <laughs> uh, Daddy, there will be no time for that. Um, stop all the things you're saying, okay? Let, let me take you to the hospital, you'll be fine. Oh. Daddy, 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 you're for me. Daddy, let, 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 let me take you, let me, let me put you Daddy! Daddy, 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 don't do this to me. Daddy! Daddy, stop. Daddy, stop. Daddy, please stop. Please stop, Daddy. Ah! Daddy, please! Please don't do this to me! Don't do this to me, Daddy! Vengeance is the product of pain. The injury that we inflict on man must be such that we fear his vengeance. But right now, my mission is far greater than my pain. Vengeance is of the Lord. Mother, you can close your eyes to the things you do not want to see. But you cannot shut your heart from the things it wants to feel. My son, let go of the pain, the bitterness and anger in your heart. Embrace happiness and move on happily. I will only embrace happiness the very day he is punished for his sins. But the king had done nothing. He loves you like his own biological son. He has always supported you. He took everything from me, mother. He took my father's life. Wait a minute, mother. Why do you always support a man who sent your husband to his early grave? Why? should have been in Nigeria to see what happened on my birthday. All my wives came up with surprises. <laughs> my three queens, three surprises. From the bedroom to the sitting room and to the outside. It was all surprises. Yes. Oh, I had a I very good time, very good birthday with my family. Yes. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Thank you so much. Yes, it was, it was something else. Ah, uh, yeah. I hope you're good, your family. All right, all right. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.
Calm down. How may we help you? Ah, uh, I'm here to see the king. He is busy with his family. Family? Yes. Ah, uh, come on, I'm family too. For God's sakes, he's my uncle. Can I go in now? No, oh, I know, but you must observe our protocols. You can wait for him over there. Seriously? <sighs> Very well. Just take this as a warning. That there is always a price for not being yourself. Excuse you. And what is the meaning of this nonsense? Oh. You and I know that you do not love the king the way you claimed. All those your cultural displays and birthday wishes is one of your tricks to steal his heart. I want you to get something into your skull that the king of Unjaba loves a duke <laughs> more than you, Ijoma, and Ujuma. How dare you make such entrances? Have you gone lost? I mean, have you lost it? I can see that you both are stealing my ideas on how to keep my husband all to myself. You must have heard what I discussed with my saxophonist and you went ahead to play the first one. Clap for yourselves. Now listen and listen good, you both. When next you both barge into my privacy to steal my ideas, trust me, you will never leave to tell the story. I am still the queen of Njaba Kingdom. Whether you two like it or not. Fools. You are a fool! You are an idiot! You are nonsensical! I still remain the most cherished queen, the most cherished wife, the most lovable, that there's nothing you both can do about it. Go and hug the wet transformer. <sighs> Ijoma is a woman of few words. And let me tell you, a wise woman knows how we to her husband's house. I'm not. Yes. Jokas everywhere! Jokas! I remain the best for the king of Njab. Son, you've been far from me since after the burial of your father. You know, I have always told you to be close to me. You are like a son to me. And you remind me of my youth. Well, I'm very sorry, Your Majesty. I have been very busy with my father's business. I understand. Look, I have an offer for you, my son. And I will be grateful if you will accept my offer. I want you to become my personal assistant. You know, I have a 
always wanted you to be very close to me and I will pay you any amount of money you desire as your monthly salary. Your Majesty, that will be very impossible. How am I supposed to have time to continue my father's legacy? You have workers? Yes. So that won't stop you from becoming my personal assistant. Like I said, you're like a son to me. I want you to be very close to me. Let us walk. I'm very sorry, Your Majesty. I... I won't accept your offer. I want to concentrate on my father's business and follow up his legacy. I'm very sorry. It is only a fool that can be deceived by your fake love. I do not know the game you want to play by persuading me to become your personal assistant, but do not worry, for I have come to play this game with you. I am only a player, but you, let's play the game and see who wins. Greetings, sir. Do you desire any drink while waiting for the king? Thank you very much, I'm fine. No problems. Did you see my mother? She was just dancing like the queen that she is. <laughs> the same talent is not hidden. You need to see how my mom and myself mesmerized my father. <laughs> he was glowing like the king that he is. Let it be the first and the last time that your mothers will see my mother's idea to entice our father. I don't even know what my father saw in them in the first place. I would have been the only one in this palace enjoying all the love if my father had not married them. If that is an insult, you better stop it. How dare you insult our mother? How do you talk to me about what you have respect? Do not forget I am the eldest in this palace. And what about it? So what if you're the eldest? Respect should be given to someone who deserves it. Not an irresponsible baboon like you. Who would try? Don't! Jinera, we're becoming a nuisance already. Stop it! Even you, you are the guts to refrain my hand from hitting her. How are you? I'll show you. The king is now free to see you. What is wrong? Nothing, father. <laughs> you finally called me father. This is for you. Oh. 
happy birthday, Father. Thank you very much for always being there to lend the help in hand. I pray that this day brings forth happiness, lots of joy, and good tidings. Yes, I also pray the good Lord preserves you for us. He say, he say, he say. Yes, this is beautiful. Do you like it? Yes. You have always been an amazing artist. Your paintings are superb. <laughs> this is good. You did not study uh, a, a fine and applied art, but you draw better than those who studied it. <laughs> Thank you very much. You are a very talented young man. Thank you, Thank you very much, Father. Just like you, you're also an amazing artist. This is good. Oh. I do go and eat Joma. It is very obvious you two didn't raise your daughters very well. The next time they repeat what they did, I swear I would have their legs amputated. Let it not happen again. This is a warning. Barking dog never bites. Her empty threats can never move me. I love your spirit, my daughters. Now listen. When next she misbehaves, make sure you disfigure her face. Oh, shut that gutter you call him up. And do not engage with my daughter ever again in your discussion. When did you start liking my daughter? The last time I checked, we all have not been in good times. Oh, please. <clears throat> Don't insult my mother like that. Who the hell are you to speak when my mom is speaking? How dare you? Wow. But that's fine. The monkey that wants to see the hunter's face will one day receive its own bullet. It is you that should avoid danger when you sense war because it is no one's friend. Happy birthday, big brother. I pray for the gods to give you more reasons to smile as you celebrate another year. I love you, brother. Give up the throne and persuade them to cram you the king of this kingdom. I cannot go against the decisions of the gods, and you know it. Then you never loved me. You are nothing but a chameleon. You are my brother, and I cannot hate you. Have I not tried enough by giving out this whole palace to you? And you even inherited more from our late father. 
why have you chosen to be a sad man ever since I was chosen as heir to the throne? Why? I prefer to be a sad loser than a fake person and a pretender who has to put different masks per day. I brought your birthday gift. It is an artwork specially made by me. A company of wolves is better than a company of wolves in sheep's clothing. Why is he proving stubborn? Why? I am yet to comprehend why I am emotionally attached to him. A strong connection is beyond my imagination. The bond is so natural. The amazing part of it is our similarities. Why must it be so? Well, he is my nephew. It is natural. Father, why would you appoint Uduka as a personal assistant? There are other trusted people in this kingdom that you can appoint as your PA, aside him. Nduka is your cousin. He will never have any evil intentions towards his own family. Father, are you in his heart? The heart of men is desperately wicked. And why would you think of such negativity against our cousin, our own blood? If you ask me, I think Nduka is the best choice to become our father's PA, if you ask me. Exactly. Because the Unduka that I know would not even hurt a fly. Yeah. Besides, he would do everything in his power to protect his family. Exactly. My instinct has never failed me. But who am I to go against the decision of the king? Nobody. That's all right.
You know, I was flabbergasted when I heard you're not my father's new personal assistant. It came as a huge shock to me. You know I've never liked you from our childhood. Just like I've always hated you. What's your mission in this palace? Mission? Well, I told you. My mission is simple. To make life a living hell for you. How dare you talk to me in such a disrespectful manner? Are you out of your mind? How dare you? If you ever try this again, I will plug off your eyes. What's the usefulness in this palace? I'm sorry, my princess. You stood here and allowed that idiot slap me. You couldn't defend me. I'm sorry, my princess. Get out! I'll make sure you're fired. Nonsense. Bunch of folks. for this balance. Joker, you're a brilliant addition to the family. Please make yourself at home. We are delighted to have you as our father's PA. And I strongly believe that your skill and knowledge will help us achieve a lot in the palace. Thank you very much. It is an incredible pleasure to have you, smart, intelligent, bright man, as our father's PA. You can make yourself comfortable. You're welcome. Thank you. Welcome. Thank you very much. <sighs> I'm really glad that my daughters are as happy as I am to have you, Nduka, as my personal assistant. Once again, you are highly welcome. Thank you all for this unconditional love. And I promise each and every one of you that I will never let you down. Your Majesty, thank you for offering me the opportunity to work for you as your personal assistant. This offer I accept with my full chest and I promise to be at my very best thank you I trust you with my life my son go in and get dressed your royal regalias are ready wow um, once again thank you all very much for this wonderful opportunity your majesty I'm armed as well with you. Thank you. Hey guys, I'm excited. <laughs> I have to get dressed. <laughs> it's such a comedian. <laughs> what? What right does he have to slap you? 
Is he mad? He even made it clear to me that he would make my life a living hell in this palace. You don't mean it. Mother, my instinct never lies to me. I see beyond the future. If something is not done fast, that boy would destroy every one of us in this palace. God forbid. The funniest part of it is that your father never mentioned it to me. That he's hiring him as his PA. And I'm sure my co-wives don't even know about it. <laughs> so, I hope you're going to stay longer this time around. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes, yes, I, I will. I'll try a little longer Are than you I used sure? to. <laughs> yes, Because <laughs> the deep love you have for US have made you lost sense of belonging in our country. Seriously. Have you forgotten that Nigeria is the giant of Africa? Exactly. A giant indeed. And the economy is dropping by the day. I don't even want to emphasize on that. Um, look, Dad, my main reason for coming is uh, I want to get married to my precious princess and fly away with her. Uh -huh. Wow! <laughs> Interesting. Oh, good, good. I think it's high time you introduce this angelic princess to us that has stolen your heart. <laughs> That's not going to be a problem. Sorry. <laughs> you see. God has finally answered our prayers. Hi. I can't wait to carry my grandchildren like my maids. <laughs> what do I mean? Oh, grandfather. Uh -huh. <laughs> grandchildren all the time. Mom, just calm down. They will come. Okay? okay. Son, you won't understand the joy of grandmotherhood. Oh, what about me? Okay, grandfather. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you see, she let me rest. I am sure you both are wondering why I called for this meeting. And I'm sure you're ready to wag your tongue if I make any provocative statement. But do not bother, because I'm not going to give that a room. Then go straight to the point and save us the stress from predicting the suspects. I do go. I knew you are going to be the first to open your mouth. Come on, Juma. Must you respond to every statement? Hit the nail on the head and save us our time. Let me tell you, if you continue dragging this meeting, I promise you, you will end up not achieving anything. Hit your ma. You now address me by my name. Kudos to you. I've seen you've totally lost respect for your senior wife. I still remain the first and the original queen of the kingdom. And if you two continue disrespecting me, trust me, I am going to make this whole palace unbearable for the both of you. Nonsense. I am out of here. Excuse me. You are not going anywhere till we are done with this meeting. I guess you're looking for this. Please come back here and sit your box. Well, our husband made a decision without our consent. He hired his nephew, Ntoka, as his personal assistant without telling any of us. At least he would have notified I, the first wife. Is this why you called for this meeting? Ask how. 
If I talk now, she will say I am wagging my tongue. Oh, please. Let's keep our differences aside. At least we can go back to our escapades. That is after now. Please. How about that? Well, what our husband did wasn't good at all. He should have consulted us first. Exactly what I'm saying. Especially I, the first wife. Yes, I don't know why he did it without my consent. I don't just think Anyway, I... I think you have a point there. Her husband did not do well. But on the other hand, I don't think his nephew Ndoka is a bad idea. Yes, we all know how attached he is to him. And with him around, he's secured on that position. Uh, but my daughter isn't pleased with him. She feels he has this um, ulterior motive for accepting the offer. <laughs> it's okay. Um, since your daughter wants to become a prophetess. <laughs> That's fine. It's okay. Why not open a church for her? Honestly, I promise you, Ijoma will support financially. How about that? Our senior wife, please, I will advise you to erase every negative thought you have against him. Ndoka means no harm. Now, can we have the key? Very well done. Wow. Really? <laughs> I can't wait to see your parents. But you'll have to come and see mine first. Yes. That's an order. I love you too. See ya. Bye. I thought by now you'd have been electrocuted to death. So it was you. I just served you your own cup of medicine. Do not play with the dangerous serpent again. Else, she will devour you 
It's a venom. Balchidera, the dangerous serpent. I've always known you to be a very strong woman. But not to play like this. I know how bad dreams break here. Yes. You are allergic to nightmares. Well, let us see how you control your breaths tonight. Run, child. Run! Sincerely speaking, honey, what you did was unfair. He used to be a caring husband. He used to consult me before making any decision. Well, recently you stopped. Yeah, can you ask yourself the last time you came close to me? You have time to make trouble with your co-wives. But you can just create time to come close to me. Oh, please stop arguing and listen to what I have to say about Ndoka. What is it you have to say about Ndoka? What is it? Uh, he has an evil intention to accomplish in this palace. You must be out of your mind. Get out of my room, from this room. No! Oh. Don't you hear my husband? He said you should get out. Are you mad? Have you lost your senses? Who invited you to barge into our privacy? You must be silly. I was about to ask you what you're doing here. Today is Wednesday and you know it's my day to sleep with the king. And here you are defining the rules. First wife. What if I decide to chase you out of this room? I dare you to try it. Try it and you will see the other side of me. Get out from this place before I you. Don't ever shout like that. You are mad, you're you stupid. Mad. You are nonsense. Woman, please leave. Can you get out? Well, 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 hey, hey, hey. Well, both of you just Are you get, mad? Get out of this room. Your Highness. Get out of this room, let me have some peace. Your what Highness. is all this? Your Highness, today is my day. She should be the one to leave and not me. You're very, very stupid. You are more stupid. Can you leave? What is wrong with hey, this school? Hey, 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 get out, I, 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 all I, I care. I, 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 are you okay? Hey, my king. Hey. What is I, it? I, 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 your heart? I, I, what is your problem? What is it, my king? Sorry. What do you need? Just as, as if I'll be okay if both of you can just get out of this room. Oh, my king, <laughs> you don't, it doesn't seem okay. How can we leave you like this? Just go. My king, so, but, 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 Go. My, no, no, how can we go and leave you like this? What you've caused. Don't worry. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I'm sorry. Sorry. Sorry, my husband. Sorry. Go, go. You should go. Please leave. Even me. Yes. Be cover, Gary. Please take care of yourself, okay? So then now I'm okay. I'm staying out with Come out from here. No sense. Please show me the door. That is the only way to get them out of this room. Nonsense.
is knocking my door at this time of the night. Who is that? It's me, Father. Chidera, come in. Father, thank God you're all right. Thank God you're alive. Chidera, my daughter, uh, what is the matter? Father, you have to send him out of the palace immediately. I don't get it, Chidera. Who are you referring to? I'm talking about your nephew, Unduka. I had a nightmare that he strangled you to death. What? Father, you have to believe me. You know how my dream is. Chidera, my daughter, it could be your imagination. You know, you have never been in good terms with Ndoka, your cousin, you know. You're right, Father. I will never allow him to use my weakness to defeat me. But I have to go now. Good night, Father. Good night. Go back to bed. All right. Good. She's my sister, and your sister too. Instead of blackmailing her, why not advise her? You don't have that Linda. I have that Ida. Yeah, BLC, NNPC, BBC. What, whatever you are, mind yourself. Mind your business. If, because if I bounce on you now, I'm bounce on you, I will tear you to pieces. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Remember. It's okay. Anyway, I, I came to inform you that my fiance will be visiting the palace soon. Please. Be around. Hey! You get the ready. I'm going to be coming to Please. Be around. I'm going to be imbecile. I'm not here. This is like this. How long will I continue to tell you that smokers are liable? To die young. Please, I'd like to be left alone. Chidera. Do you know that smoking reduces lung function, causes shortness of breath, coughing and wheezing. It can even damage your heart forever. Do you also know that people who stay around smokers can also be affected? They are more at risk, Mrs. Preacher. Okay, it's fine. I, I give up. I just came to inform you that my fiancé will be visiting the palace soon. Please, my dear sister, be around. Whatever. Darling, cool wife. Mm -hmm. 
I have a surprise for you. Here. I slept with the king, my husband. That's not true. <laughs> you can ask him. That can be. It is time you admit the fact that I am loved by the king. <laughs> All I see is desperation. <laughs> You're a witch. Sorry, darling. <laughs> no way, there's no way I can drag my man with anybody. I can't do it. I sleep with him anytime, any day. Nobody can stop me. <laughs> my sisters, this palace is full of trunk. The kind of actions that is going on in this palace is enough to entertain the whole of Nigeria too. You are right though. While I be like this palace, you need the house to stay Hey. Hmm. Only God can deliver this palace. My main concern is how Prince Chidera smokes. Knowing how it can easily affect her health condition. We all know about her sickness. Prince Chidera is the worst of them all. She is so troublesome. If they see that you choose, oh, Princess Amaka is just the best. <sighs> My prayer is just for them not to do what will make the king die before his time. Oh. Amen. Amen. Oh. Mm. Mm. What? What? So after ordering her. Not to smoke again. She had the guts to disobey my orders. Yes, Father. God! Your Highness, go and summon her immediately. Which is my command, Your Highness. Your Highness! Your Highness! So you tricked me last night? with the intention to be with Ujuma. I don't understand what are you talking about. Did you or did you not spend the night with Ujuma? But will you get out of my presence? Get out of my presence! It's like you've lost your manners. Get out! Get out before I I, I do something I will get. Come on, get out! What nonsense is this? I hate you. I hate you for this. Father, that wasn't fair. If she had any atom of respect for herself, she wouldn't have said what she said in your presence. And what is wrong with everyone in this palace? What is wrong with everyone? Do you people want to kill me before my time? What is this? Father wants your presence immediately. Why does he want to see me? I don't know. Why don't you go in and find out yourself? Such a disgrace. 
disgrace to this family. Why? Now the next time you repeat this, I will not tell you what I will do to you. Get out of my sight! Get out! Hello, my love. Hi, babe. Were you able to get the mechanic in your area? No, not yet. But my dad called one of his engineers, so he will join me here soon. Okay, no problem. Just be safe, okay? <laughs> Don't worry, love. I'll come to the palace, okay? All right, baby. I love you. Surely bow to the wind when it passes. How dare you report me? Don't you have respect? You Don't you? Stop it, brother! Are you mad? Are you mad? Nigga! You watch me! Watch me! You just keep. Glad, all right? Okay, close up the bonnet. Yeah, I've got something for you. I know you still gonna get something from my dad, but hold on to this, okay? Thank you, sir. And be careful. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Be grateful. Your father told me what happened, and I'm so worried about that. Worried about what exactly, Mom? I expected your dad to tell you, but he never did. See, for your sound car to break down on the way 
going to see the woman you want to marry for the first time signifies bad omen. No, oh, ma'am, please don't start. Don't start with your superstitious beliefs, please. When cats are holding their meeting, rats does not go there. How do you mean? Taking risk that can kill a man is very bad. Mom, please don't spoil my day. Um, you're wishing me bad luck. No woman will wish her son a bad luck. No woman. I just want you to be careful. Eh? And drive safely. Okay? Alright, Mom. Thank you. Uh, I will see you when I get back. Alright? Please make my favorite. <laughs> okay, Mom. Yeah. Chidera, do you want all of us to pack out of this palace for you? First it was your younger sister, whom you accused and slapped. You went further to fight to render. Is that how the head princess of Unchiaba should behave? You are supposed to be a role model to the maidens of this kingdom. But you have decided to become a royal disgrace. Anyway, I know the punishment that I will met out to all of you in this palace. And I will all of you get out of here! Get out of my presence! Get out! Get out of my sight! Get out! What nonsense! Can I have peace in my life? Your Highness, I should go with them. Oh, will you shut up? Get back there! Are you mad? Nonsense! avoiding me to come inside the palace. Have you gone mad? Well, that is because you're not allowed to visit the palace for now, mother. By whose order? Mom. Yes. I know you very well. Mm -hmm. If I allow you in there, you are going to ruin my plant. Besides, the palace is not in order for now to accept visitors. Why? The palace seems to look decent. Mm -hmm. But what happens in there is beyond our imaginations. There is no single day the king's concubines don't exchange blows. And the princess is at war. The crisis alone is capable of killing the king fast. And that will make my plans easier. Did I raise you to be this evil? Endoka? If you do not desist from this your evil plans, I have no option than to expose you. Then be ready to bury your son. Eh? You heard me, mother. Ready to bury your son, mother. Uh, mom, mom, listen. You, you have to, you have to make plans, please. I, I, I don't want you here. Good day. Um, please, I'm trying to find my way to King Obese's palace. Uh, don't, don't worry, I, I will take you there. Yes, he's my uncle actually, and um, I'm sure you're the one my cousin is expecting. Exactly, yes, I am. Good. I'll take you there. Okay, come in. Very well. Your mother, 
What is eating you up? Please talk to me. Martha, what if my fiancé had met the same the other day? He would have had a reason to change his mind. Listen. Love does not count wrongs. Okay? So where is he now? Have you called him? Not yet, mother. I am now afraid of his coming. I had planned a befitting royal welcome for him, but Chidera messed everything up. Um, I see where you're heading. But not to worry. Your father and I are here for you, okay? Now call him and know his whereabouts. Alright, mother, let me get my phone. Sorry, but I must say I don't know where I am because this isn't the building I saw the picture on the phone. <laughs> this is an entire different structure. Where am I? Of course, yes. It is different from what you saw over the phone. Now I advise you to calm the fuck down and not do anything stupid because you have just been kidnapped. Kidnapped. What do you want? <sighs> Look at me very well. Can't you recognize this face? I don't know you. God! You must be so ruthless to have forgotten one of the most miserable days of your life. Just in case you forgot, I am the young man who saw you the very day you hit the man with your car. Remember me now? And you left the young man's body on the floor. And then you drove off like a sissy without any consideration. Isn't it a small world? You see, I regretted my actions, though it was an accident. That was the main reason I traveled. It's been six years now and I have not been able to forgive myself. Oh. <sighs> Don't worry. I will not implicate you. But in return, you will have to do something for me. Something like what? Because I was on my way to... On your way to where? 
to see my fiance. Well, unfortunately, you will not be seeing her. But I, I already... Hey! You will have to obey my orders to keep my mouth sealed. Else, I'll spill. I believe we're on the same page. Right? Have you called him? Yes, mother. Well, he said his car broke down again. But he has promised not to film me again tomorrow. Oh, that sounds better. Thank God he did not make it to the palace today. Because the whole environment is here to come. Yes, mother, you're right. I just hope that there will not be another crisis tomorrow. No, I don't think so. Not after the king's warning. No one would want to make the king angry. It's okay. Thank you. So all these years you had the intention to blackmail me. Why? Well, somehow I knew a day like this will come. What do you stand to gain? Everything. Because you see right now, you are too. And I will use you to achieve all my goals. I will use you to take revenge on that king. Yes. Where did you go to? Your Majesty, my mother is sick, so I went to take good care of her. Oh, sorry about that. But you would have told me before you left. I'm very sorry, Your Majesty. All right. I can't sleep. Go call up Maka for me. Right away, Your Majesty. into my room like that. My apologies, but your father would like to see you. I hope all is well. He just can't sleep. Okay. No worries.
father. This is the man I've told you about. Young man, you are highly welcome. Thank you, Your Majesty. We're sorry about what happened to you yesterday. My daughter told me your car broke down. Thank you very much, Your Highness. It's been fixed now. Good. So, who are you and where do you come from? My name is Dikala Victor, son of Dikala Mbakwe from Atta Njaba local government. I'm the only child of my parents. Oh, so you are from this kingdom? Yes, Your Highness. Now tell me, uh, which family and what village do you come from? I am from Durezumu family here in Atta local government. I know that family very well. <laughs> You're highly welcome, my child. Thank you, Highness. You're welcome. Amaka. Yes, Father. Serving something. All right. Are you sure that was what you saw in your dream? Yes, Mother. That, that was exactly what I saw in my dream. Mommy, you know I'm not into all this dream, dream and the rest. But this particular one, this one scares me a lot. Mom, I am scared. I am scared for father. Please, Mom. Nothing to worry about. My husband has always been a strong man. Nothing will happen to your father. But I will tell him about your dream. Please, not to worry. Put yourself together. My daughter, my princess, why are you so sad and dejected? What is eating you up? Father is planning on sending me to the U.S. without my consent. What? Yes, mom. Same thing he did four years ago. I know how I suffered back then in the U.S. I worked so hard just to make an income. I did virtually all the chores because I didn't have money to get a house help. Nobody was sending money from Nigeria. I was on my own. I was neglected. My daughter, that is U.S. for you. If you don't work, you will not eat. There is no food for a lazy man. Yes. Mother, don't tell me you're in support of father. No, 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 not really. But I know that your father did that for you to know that life could be difficult. And then he did it also for you to be a stronger woman. Well, mother, I don't want that punishment anymore. I will disappear into a place where no one can find me if it continues with that arrangement. No, my child. How did you find out he was making such arrangement? I overheard him talking on the phone. No. No. Oh, please, my child. The one you said you would disappear. Please don't. How can you disappear leaving me, your mother, all alone? If you disappear, that means I'm... I'm gone. Please, my child. Stay with your mother, okay? I know everything will be all right. Okay? Come on, share up. You know I love you so very much and I don't joke with you. Trust me. Give me a smile. Come on. <laughs> it's okay. Everything will be fine, okay?
that young man, Victor. He's such a handsome. Hey, Amaka is lucky to have someone like him. <laughs> is he more handsome than my friends? <laughs> that, that, that blinching fool. Hmm. I feel like I want to puke. Ah! <laughs> smells. I can sense jealousy and nothing more. Huh? <laughs> Mommy! Jealous of who actually? Amaka? No! Please! She should be jealous of me, not the other way around, mother. You know! I, Urena! Ha! Jealous of Amaka? For what? Victor guy is not bad. He's so handsome. I think I am falling, falling in love with you. <sighs> handsome. Ure, Ure, are you okay? No, I cannot fall for him. Mother, I can never be. I'm a no, mother, it's not possible. No way. Like I said, everything will be fine. Oh, just be happy for me. Mother, yes. big sister, sorry to interrupt the both of you. I came to introduce my fiance Victor to you. Greetings, Your Majesty. Greetings to you, Victor. How are you? I'm very fine, Your Majesty. You're welcome. Please, what do you do for a living? Um, Your Majesty, I am a businessman. Yes, a US-based businessman. A car dealer to be precise. Yes. Wow, that's nice. Greetings, everyone. Hi. Amaka, I would like to have a word with you. Please. I hope all is well. All is perfect. Okay, um, that reminds me, Victor, Meet my cousin, Anduka. He's my father's most trusted PA. Wow. Uh -huh. <laughs> it's my pleasure to meet you, bro. <laughs> the pleasure is mine. Please. All right. Please give me a minute. I'll be right back. Um. um, my princess. What are you called? I hope I'm not asking for too much. I I'm Victor. Call me Princess Chidera. Whoa, that's a beautiful name. My princess, see you in a short while. Bye. 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 My princess, you're beautiful. I know. The world knows. My beauty has no comparison. <sighs> Please, if you don't mind, can I have a picture with you? Please. Be quick about it. Thank you. So, can I have you standing? Do I have to stand to take a picture with you? Come sit your ass down and take a picture. It's alright. Thank you. Um, I'm sorry, can I hold you? Thank you. Why are you holding me so tight? Do you want to suffocate me? Please take your picture and let me get out of here. Okay. Can I have your smile? Thank you. That's good. Amaka. That's your fiancé. He's so handsome. <laughs> handsome is an understatement. Beautiful should be the word. Yes. Nduka, is this why you brought me out here? Amaka, you will not understand. I mean, look at the young man. He's rich, has got swag, he's every woman's dream. Amaka, I advise you hold him tight before some gold digger from somewhere steals him from you. Hmm? Really? Yes. Nduka, 
I never knew you were a comedian. But anyway, all well and good. Thank you for your advice and compliment. I'll take my leave. Hey, Amaka. <sighs> Have you offered him something? Uh, not just anything, I mean something very special. What? Are you sure you're okay? Of course I'm fine. <laughs> Listen, I have a plan. Why don't we just drive out there to a fancy supermarket and buy him an expensive bottle of champagne. I'm sure he'll appreciate it. Hmm? Now I know you're sick. Wow. <laughs> Lovely pictures. They are so photogenic. Um, if you don't mind, I'll take a look at them. And I have your contact, so I'll send it to you later. Hey, have you lost it? What's wrong with you? Know your boundaries. Hi, guys. Yeah, darling. I'm so sorry for keeping you waiting. It's okay. It's fine. Um, Amaka? Yes. How long have you known him? Well, never mind. I don't want to be nosy. Just, just sit, sit, sit. Okay, uh, baby. Yeah. Your sister seemed to be so dramatic. Oh, yes. She's a very naughty human. But I still love her. Honestly, I'm very happy to be part of your family. Thank I you. mean, you all are so lovely and perfect. Mm -mm. Lovely. Yes, perfect. No, no family is perfect. Most families have their shortcomings. My love, I found perfection in yours. Thank you. And I love you. <laughs> I love you too. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. You ladies do not want to celebrate with me. Ah. <laughs> Look at you. You couldn't even hide it. Jealousy written all over your faces. Come on. Anyway, I understand. Um, let me officially announce to you that my daughter, my, my beautiful daughter, despite the fact she's the last born of this family, will get married before her sisters. <laughs> and the most interesting part is that I, Ijoma, will be the first to have a grandchild in this palace. Wow. Destiny. <laughs> Hello. Did I just hear you say destiny? Oh. Can you see how little your brain works? You will continue to be the last in everything. Just as you are the last wife to my lovely husband. What am I even doing here? <laughs> destiny. The last but the sweetest. Wait a minute. Yes, please. What if your child has no womb? <coughs> Will you still be the first to have a grandchild in a palace? Back to sender. You witch. Check yourself. Fools! 
You are the doom of the guy of jealousy. Useless idiots. Jealousy. That's all I see. Ha! Huh. Jealousy. Whom the Lord has blessed, no man can cause. Thank God for being good. I got it. Okay. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. To a brighter future. Destiny kill us. Listen and listen, God. I'll leave directions for you to meet me up at the palace tomorrow. But before you come, make sure you clean up properly. There are some fresh leaves in the wardrobe. I'm sure they'll fit you. That's just a game. I'm sure you can do this. Dream, my husband. Yes, Father. Father, please. You need to believe me. Father, I have this feeling. It's scary. Like something bad might happen to you, but the gods forbid. Uh, uh, this is strange. At first, it was Chidera's dream. And now you. Will something meaningful come out from Chidera's dream? That's Jay Smoker. Mother, please, just stop. Not now. Don't even drag this matter, please. Aren't you worried about this situation? I am worried, my daughter. And that's why I brought you to discuss with your father. We go to bed, my daughter. I will consult the chief priest to do something about this. Father, may the girls guide you. Good night, Father. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. My husband. 
Can I spend the night with you today? Oh, come on. Why not? <laughs> My darling wife, you can. I love you. Mm -hmm. mm, come on. Let's go do it. Okay. <sighs> oh, tell me some. How did it go? Well, eh, it went well. As a matter of fact, they treated me like a prince. Mm -hmm. Yes, and I must say that the king is a man with a large heart. <laughs> Who doesn't know how kind the king of Njaba kingdom is? <laughs> He's a kind man. So when are you inviting the princess to this house? Soon, mom. Soon. Huh? Yes. Soon? Really? Hey! Are you the one you I can't wait to receive the princess. My name is Amaka, the daughter of the king of Njaba kingdom. And nobody, I mean, none of you have the right to obstruct my journey. The daughter of Njaba kingdom. Do I need to remind you that I am the head princess of this great kingdom? Do I? Princess, my foot. Is it the one that does not have respect for royalty? Or which one? If you don't shut your mouth, I will shut it up for you with a dirty slap. Are you mad? Look at this thing. Do not provoke me. Okay, fine. What is my crime? Anyway, what is my crime? Are you daft? Is something wrong with you? How dare you go out with almost all the palace girls and men from the palace? Where the hell are you going to? You want to say that you're useless and ugly boyfriend? How dare you? The last time I checked, everybody has the right to any kind of maid or guy that they like. Oh, <laughs> am I sensing jealousy here? Listen up. Go back to the palace and pick those lazy maidens you left behind and leave the active ones with us. Never. 
It will never happen over my dead body. Amaka! Amaka, don't even incur my royal rot. You will not like it. Oh, don't dare me! Shut up! Both of you are nothing but a royal disgrace. I take it. Are you stupid? Are you mad? Hey, don't be scared. Chidera. Chidera, you again? You again? What is this nonsense I'm hearing about you? Now listen to me. If I don't see you and your silly sister, Rina, in the next 10 minutes, I will make a royal decree that will affect both of you deeply. What nonsense? Got me, but you won't be lucky next time. Greetings to you all. It's my pleasure to pay your wonderful family a royal visit. Oh, mm. it's our pleasure. Mm. The most beautiful and outstanding princess in Njamba Kingdom. Mm. You mm. are welcome to our humble abode. And may the joy I feel this day for seeing an amazing princess of Njamba Kingdom never end. Uh, I'm so glad to have you as my guest. My princess. Thank you very much. I am truly honored. Thank you. Please. Let's go inside. Hmm? <laughs> Succeeded in tricking I and my sister. What the hell are you talking about? Oh, please don't pretend like you don't know what I'm talking about. You instigated the birth of us. 
you were hired to come to PA for my father. But instead of you to do the work of a PA, you choose to stay very far away from him so you can cause more havoc in this palace. Listen up. You can fool everybody, but you can never fool me. I know you have an evil agenda in this palace. Soonest, all your evil plans will be exposed. Stay hell away from me. Stay! careful with the kind of river you swim, else you'll be devoured by a dangerous shark. <laughs> 